So let's see if you can guess these top five tips in Darktable before the video is over. Let's go. The first one is using the duplicate manager on the left side. The reason for that is because sometimes you make an edit and you want to see how it will look differently. For that, what I always do is I duplicate the image and that will give me another XMP file. So let's remember Darktable is non-destructive. And then if I go back to where we were at the start, compress the history stack, I can start over and try a different look without messing up my first look that I like as well. Moving on to tip number two which is the light bulb. If you use this, this will show you a more neutral color around your image, which will also show you if the colors in your image are looking natural. The second thing is that it'll help you with your composition to see how it looks when it's framed up. Right, let's move on to the next one. The next one is renaming the, and then the next tip is creating a second instance and renaming it. So let's say we've got the color calibration, which I've used here to just the brightness, the saturation and the white balance. I now want a second one for whatever reason. So I'm going to click this symbol on the right hand side and it says new instance, duplicate, move up, etc., and rename. But first we need a second one because if we have one, we don't have to remember which one that is. But now I need to rename this one because I want to remember what I've done here. I'm going to click this symbol again and go to rename and then I can name this whatever I like. And of course, when you're editing, you want to know what the before looked like in comparison to the one you have right now. So let me deactivate the light bulb because you need the same size. I'm going back to the step where I was when I started this image. And now I'm going to create a snapshot, which you can also reset. So you can remove this one if you want to. Now let's go back to our final module that we've used in the history stack. And now let's select the snapshot. And here we have a line dividing the images. So this is the starting point. And this is what I've managed to create from it. And then the final tip I have for you is how to create a custom modules menu. You need to click these three lines over here and then you can go to manage presets. And this will pop up a menu. And in that menu, you have the ability to create a new preset. If you click it, name it. So I'm going to call it Rico Resolves. And now you will see this. So we've got the quick access menu and we've got the base menu. Now let's say we want to add another one. So I'm going to click the plus. It's going to create a new one. Uh, I need a color one as well. And then if we click the plus sign over here, and that goes for all these three, you can add in the modules that you want. So for instance, here you could add in all the color modules that you'd like, and you can even rename this into colors. Once you're done, you can just click it away. And now you see that if you go over here again and you click your preset, that it will only show you these modules that you've picked and selected yourself.